inflationary gap and deflationary gap part 3. In part 1, I discussed what is full employment equilibrium. In part 2, I defined the concepts inflationary gap and deflationary gap. If you come across this video directly, my sincere request is please view the first two parts and then come to this lesson. The links for the videos and the playlist are given in the description below. We shall go to the lesson now. When the economy is in full employment equilibrium, an upward shift of the aggregate demand curve creates inflationary gap. Well, what are the factors causing the upward shift and generate a gap? 1. An increase in consumption expenditure pushes the aggregate demand curve up. Since the economy is in full employment equilibrium, the output cannot be expanded. 2. An increase in investment spending by the business community also will make the curve to move up. 3. If the government spends more, the curve will go up. It will create a gap between aggregate demand and aggregate supply. 4. If exports exceed imports or net export is positive, the people will get more money. They spend this money in the domestic economy. This also will shift the aggregate demand curve up and create inflationary gap. These are the causes for aggregate demand curve to shift upwards. Okay, now deflationary gap. When the economy is in full employment equilibrium, a downward shift of the aggregate demand curve creates deflationary gap. Then, what are the factors triggering the downward shift and create a gap between aggregate supply and aggregate demand? 1. A decrease in consumption spending pushes the aggregate demand curve down. 2. A decrease in investment spending by the business people also will make the curve to move down. 3. If the government spends less, the curve will move down. It will create a gap between aggregate demand and aggregate supply. 4. If exports are less than imports or if net export is negative, the community will have less money to spend in the domestic economy. This also will shift the aggregate demand curve down and create deflationary gap. You must understand that aggregate demand curve's shift may be caused by a change in any one of the factors or by a change in a few factors or by a change in all the factors simultaneously. But these are the factors causing a shift of aggregate demand curve either up or down. In the next video, that is in part 4, we shall discuss the effects of inflationary gap and deflationary gap.